Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Hey guys, we are in Lakeland, Florida today. We're doing a bio. Um, somebody had passed away in this little guy here. You can see it's written on all the windows, biohazard. I'm gonna throw my respirator on so I can give you guys a little bit of a tour before we get fully suited up. I'm already in my boots um, just because I don't wanna contaminate anything bringing it out, so. Um, all right, let me get my respirator on and we'll jump in there. Are you ready to rock and roll? I just kind of want to, I want to be able to open cabinets. Uh, I want to be able to kind of move a few things around while I'm recording so that way you guys can kind of see what I'm seeing. All right, let's do this. It's a, it's a travel trailer, so it's gonna be kind of wobbly as we're moving around. There's food all over the floor. There's, a, there's cigars, cigarettes appliances so this is actually not only a biohazard from where the gentleman had passed away on the bed luckily there was plastic on the mattress so we'll take a look at her and see what we can do uh, salvaging the mattress take a look inside the cabinets here so it's just um just clothing This is the little kitchenette area. Let me open that all the way so you can kind of see inside of it. Can you see some donuts? There's a strong odor. There's a strong odor. We just found some uh, adult viewing material. It was obviously going to the bathroom in a five gallon bucket. So essentially we're just gonna start with the clean out. So it's a little safer for us to for us to maneuver in here. Um, all right, well stay tuned while we get dressed. Hey guys, I'm Deidre and I am the owner of Spalding Decon Plano. Uh, Plano because that's the largest city in our territory here in Texas. This is our homeless camp job. Although it's not really a homeless camp. I mean, it is, but let me back up and, and tell you how this started. Uh, a couple weeks ago, a billboard company reached out to us because um, they have a space next to one of their billboards and it, they own all that land. It's private property. Well, maybe they've been getting in trouble with the city. I don't know. Uh, but when we saw the space, it's full of trash clearly from illegal dumping clearly just the mountains of it how ground into the ground it is um it's been there for years and it's stuff that homeless people are not bringing to the gully it's broken furniture and uh, a neon sign and stuff that that illegal dumping has been putting there so it's clearly that the homeless people that are in this area near 35 and, and Manana um, saw the stuff and went, cool, let's, uh, let's build houses with it, and they did. And so there's like five houses down there. And um, so day one is going to be for us to uh, clear a path for the bobcat to get into the gully so he can do what he's gonna do. Oh, so 
this is Moose. He is our longest uh, technician with Spalding Decon. He is uh, Spalding Decon Pino. He's been with us uh, the entire time since we've opened. Um, Moose, what do you like about working with this I company? I love the people and helping people out and servicing the community because it's always an adventure and it's always different kind of work and I really enjoy helping people. Day one was pretty hectic for me because uh, we didn't have a uh, we didn't have a, a bobcat, so so day one was pretty hectic. So we had to do everything full labor, carrying heavy stuff and back and forth. But um, the funnest part was when Bob came along, to be honest with you, because as soon as he came in, everything got easier. It was more of an adventure, teamwork, and we just kicked the butt today. So Dieter was actually mistaken. I am the longest running tech, not Moose. I'm way better than Moose and much taller and more handsome. <laughs> There's no shade, we're actually in a parking lot. You can see that we're in a uh, 10 pound lot for boats and RVs over on this side here. Opposite side of where we're at. It's all SUVs, cars, and things like that. We don't know how the gentleman died in here. We know that he was a male. We're not sure of age. Some of these, uh, some of these jobs that we get, come on now. Some of these jobs that we get, uh, we don't get any detail. So essentially, I know there's been a lot of questions about us. You know, what happens if the glove tears and things like that. So I'm actually showing you guys, we always double up on the gloves. That way, if one breaks, we always have a backup. I don't want to get any hazardous fluids on my skin or anything like that. Go. We're gonna go in. So, first part of this job is gonna be the clean out. Second part is gonna be the disinfecting. basically doing at this point is tagging up the, the stuff that we know is not a biohazard. We have tons of ammunition in here. We're going to actually set that aside. We're going to take that to the Sheriff's Department for proper disposal. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys this since I just found this. We actually have some false teeth and a lot more ammunition. I'm gonna gather all of this stuff up and we will reconvene once we get all of this stuff situated out. All right, see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, we are on day two of homeless camp removal. And I tell you, it's really like 90% illegal dumping, 10% homeless people. Look at all that debris. Oh my God. We, uh, we smartened up and got a bobcat to come help us today because it's bad. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, we've been fortunate to have up to seven workers every day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You may have seen the before pictures. The mountain is intimidating, but uh, if you think about it being all spread out over about 50 yards of, st of area, that, that's, I mean, that's, the Bobcat guy's not bringing in new trash. This is all the same trash that was here. 
But it sure does seem like he's bringing in new trash. So uh, enjoy the cleanup of this job. We're gonna be here all week. Uh, how's this job been? Oh, this one's the worst. Four days. Horrible. But what makes it so horrible? It's so hot outside. Like all the direct sun. It's like a giant outdoor water house, but in direct sunlight. Uh, With poop all over the place. At least they kind of segregate the poop in regular water houses, but not here. <laughs> Has there been anything entertaining about having to work on this project? Uh, a little bit of homeless drama. That's kind of fun. Sneak it up on people smoking that. Oh no, got your ass out here, bro. Please stay on the shit, Africa. Yesterday, there's been this uh, homeless woman that's been hanging around the camp, cleaning up her side a little bit. I think she's trying to avoid getting kicked out. So she was talking to us a little bit and uh, seemed friendly enough. So we go for break. We're sitting in the back of the van. We look over, and suddenly this woman is completely naked. And uh, happened to be the exact same timing that one of the other techs was wandering over to hand her a water bottle. And then boom, boom. That was also a surprise. It was an interesting change about the, but it's her style. So who might have there's been a lot of entertainment uh, between the crew. Some of them have taken falls on the steep hill. Uh, some of them have taken falls in the parking lot. Um, and then we had some great entertainment yesterday with a couple of the folks that live here in the parking lot. And uh, a lot of yelling, a lot of cussing, and a lot of uh, claiming their territory. Oh, that was one of the funnest moments. Uh, he found an entire thing of glass uh, Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. And she threw it into the pile, and the very next time Bob the Bobcat guy came by, he took that bottle and it stuck on the teeth, and when he squeezed, the barbecue sauce shot all over him like a cannon. The crew was just laughing. Bob didn't know what the heck had hit him. Jumped out of the Bobcat. <laughs> and goes over to the truck to try to clean himself and he's wiping himself clean with armor all um so yes bob is a man because he doesn't use baby wipes nothing he uses armor all uh for the homeless camp uh i felt really bad tearing down the homes and everything because there's not much that i really can do for my part but uh i'm just helping the community by cleaning the gully and keeping it clean stop pollution you know so we're back in here I had to do a Timex change because it was drenched. It's rained, so the humidity has really, really peaked up. We went ahead and uh, stripped the bio off of the bed. Thank God there's nothing else on the bed. It was, it was saved by plastic. We're gonna venture into the refrigerator. This terrifies me. The refrigerator always, always scares me. It's already hard to breathe in these things, but I would rather breathe hard than vomit all over the place because of a smell. I'm going to get myself ready to go. RV refrigerators are the worst. Oh my god. Maggots already. Oh wow. Look at those. Oh my god. Jesus. Size comparison. So I'm just gonna start emptying this stuff out. The soup is calamari. That is exactly why it smells so bad. The maggots are literally just falling.
absolutely hundreds of matters. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a glove change. Just because my hands are to the point where they're really, really really slimy right at the moment. All right, guys, we'll stay tuned for the after. I tell you, I had a lot of fun. Um, the thing I look forward to every day is what new are we going to find today? <laughs> Some examples. Well, we found a lot of adult DVDs. Uh, we found a lot of needles, uh, dirty needles. Um, we found some adult toys, um, and you know, we found some great trash. You know, my whole career I've kind of sat behind a desk being a, being a corporate guy, and so doing some manual labor is always good for a guy. Um, Y'all may be wondering, why the hell would somebody get into uh, work like this? Particularly since I was a high school English teacher for 15 years before this, and I was in advertising before that. Um, I don't know, I, I can tell you that um, I kind of feel like a rock star when I'm doing this work, and that right there satisfies this midlife crisis thing that I kind of feel like I got going on, um, because, you know, rock star, schmock star, in reality, I'm just a chubby, middle-aged, married mom of two, and, um, the work makes me feel young and interesting again. Hard work pays off. That's that's definitely for sure. Hard work definitely pays off. So if you definitely kick butt over here, you'll definitely get some work done. Most definitely. All right, guys. It's pouring rain out. For after. Everything has been disinfected. <coughs> Excuse me. The smell in here is amazing. The bed. No more bio. Where we found more bio. It is pouring rain out. All right, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Have a good day, guys. Keep on watching the YouTube series because uh, we're trying to bring you the neatest, coolest, grossest, yuckiest, smelliest stuff we can.